Our Father, we thank you for this morning. As we come as your people, with great expectation, we ask the Lord you will touch us and heal us and minister to us and restore us and show us your glory. We thank you that, Father, your infallible word would make everything complete in our lives. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Good to see you again. I will bless the Lord for his faithfulness. I'm going to share a short word with you that would position you for glory and for beauty. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Come with me to Ephesians 2. I'm speaking on the subject, arise and take your place. Arise and take your place. Hallelujah. Ephesians 2, from verse 1. And you have he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, Weary in time past, ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now works in the children of disobedience. Among whom also we all had our conversation in time past, in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us. Even when we were dead in sins, had quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. But you will notice in your Bible, that there are some italics, slanted writings. That means that they were not in the original. They were put in to make the sentence clear. So, verse 1 says that, And you, who were dead in trespasses and sins. Then, verse 6, And had raised up together, and made sit together in heavenly in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We are being made to be raised in heavenly but Christ Jesus. So we are living and abiding in heavenly love. Jesus said, he that is from above is above all. He says, ye shall be the head and not the tail. You shall be up only and not down. The valley is not your place. The top of the mountain is your place. The place Almighty God has designated for you is a place of honor, a place of dignity. A place of glory, a place of excellence, a place of joy, a place of completeness, a place of fullness, a place where you cannot be beaten down, a place where you cannot be made small, a place where you cannot be chickened, a place where nobody will trample you underfoot. The Bible says we were dead in sins. The devil had his free way with us. But thanks be to God that when Christ Jesus our Lord came, he made us to triumph. He gave us victory daily. The Bible says by his stripes ye were healed. It took place already. And today I want you to understand child of God that whatever kuse kuse, whatever reproach, whatever shame, whatever seems to be 
casting you down and making you so morose and disappointed and it seems like everything is failing and it seems like everything is seems not working well I came to announce to you that your place is not the place of failure your place is not the place of defeat your place is not the place of shame he said behold in 1 Peter 2 6 I have laid in Zion a chief cornerstone and precious whosoever believes on him shall not be put to shame if you believe on the Lord Jesus you shall be saved he is not in the valley he is on top of the mountain and when he found us and delivered us and cleansed us and removed our sin of condemnation he never left us at the Adamic level the place where the devil was able to have access to us and messed us up but he lifted us and placed us up in heavenly in the heavenly so we are heavenly men we are heavenly women we are men on top we are women on top we are victorious men we are victorious people we are people that have been delivered so nothing else can push us down our deliverance is sure the bible says he is the one that delivers he does deliver and will deliver so no matter what happens around us yeshua the lord shall deliver us yesu shall deliver us when you understand the name yesu then you would know and understand that we have completeness yesu ya yesu he is the completed one and we are born by the completed one we have been delivered by the completed one so the things that go on around us are not going to be allowed to push us down because we are they that have overcome and Bible said if God spared not his son but gave him as a ransom to deliver us shall he not by him also deliver us from all things we are what we are supposed to be because of what Christ Jesus had made us to be in him he says thanks be to God who gives us victory he has raised us to sit together with him in the heavenlies hallelujah in Isaiah 61 it says arise shine arise sorry Tension, tension, drop. Hallelujah. Arise and explode. Arise and emerge. Arise and take your place among the mighty. Arise and take your place among the honorables because if you refuse to take your place among the mighties if you refuse to acknowledge that christ has ordained you and set you above principalities and powers so you will become the career of his glory then somebody will occupy your place then somebody will take your name then somebody will take your position we have been delivered and redeemed to sit in the heavenlies far above principalities far above powers far above wickedness far above shame far above poverty far above disease far above sickness far above pain far above every form of wickedness but if you refuse to take your place somebody's going to take it when I hear some uncircumcised men and women being called honorables it beats my heart because we are the honorables honor and dignity belongs to us we are kings and queens he's made us kings and priests unto our God he has made us what kings and priests unto our God why are you a software and why are you a him for and why are you a him ma now so won't sorry and for which you know be a or be before which you know be a arise shine arise glitter arise and demonstrate your glory 
power of excellence of honor I'm going to my high place he said the Lord shall strengthen your feet like that of the deer and he will move you to your high place I am going to my high place I'm moving to my high place I'm moving to the place of honor I'm moving to the place of dignity I'm not going to be chicken out I don't care whatever anybody thinks I am going to be what he says I am I am going to be what he says I am the Bible said in him we have been made complete so if anybody has any issue well it's their problem in him I am complete in him I am whole they may say he is ugly that is your opinion but before him I am a mighty man of valor and the Bible said and it came to pass and Gideon said if surely I am a man of your choice if surely I have found favor with you if surely I'm a mighty man of valor then where are the miracles that our fathers talked about how come the Midianites are making us so limited and he said it is because of the sin of your fathers but I have found you and by you as a mighty man of valor I will deliver Israel from the Midianites go in this thy strength go in this thy strength go in this thy strength because you are a mighty man he said oh no 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 my father is from the poorest family and I am the least of my father's children he says don't no problem whatever you think you are is okay but I Yeshua I the Lord I'm saying that you are a mighty man I'm saying you are a strong woman I'm saying that you are an honorable I'm saying you are a woman a man of dignity I'm saying that through you I will do a thing so arise and renew your mind arise and change your perception arise and change your thinking and begin to see from my perspective I'm not going to see myself as anybody sees me they may see me as somebody who cannot speak they may see me as somebody who is poor but yes it is good for them to see me to be poor but I'm making many rich because you see no man's words will define your destiny will be a no some and chire will share because God never allowed it that anybody's words should influence your life. No. Because one upon, once upon the time, because of what Reuben did to the father, the father said as unstable as water, you cannot excel. So our fathers can say things and beat us down. Our mothers can say things and reduce us to nothing. Our uncles and our bosses and people of authority can say things and chicken us out. Even our pastors can say things and reduce us. But surely, surely, when you would encounter the father that Almighty God has raised for your destiny, then he will say, though daddy said you cannot excel, the father the Lord has said over you will declare, let Reuben live and not die and let not his men be few. He Big Reuben for where daddy placed him and brought him to the place of dignity and honor. Today by the spirit of the Lord I bring you from wherever any power, any spirit anybody has located you and I bring you to your place of glory and where you belong, where you belong where you belong. Arise and change your position. Arise and take your place arise and take your place in your family in your job place among the kings there is a king of the Lord among the kings 
there is a king of the Lord. Among the bishops, there is a bishop of the Lord. Among the reverence, there is a reverence of the Lord. Among the wives, there is a wife of the Lord. Among the husbands, there is a husband of the Lord. Among the sons, there is a son of the Lord. Among the businessmen, there is a businessman of the Lord. Among the businesswomen, there is a businesswoman. Among the professionals, there is a professional and nurtured of the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Arise and take your defined place. Arise and take your place among the fathers, among the mothers, among the millionaires, among the billionaires, among the strong, among the rich, around the honorables. In the name of Jesus, arise. Arise is an instruction. He says, sorry. So why would you be sitting when the instruction is sorry? And move. And change your place. And take the place of honor. Because when you will take the place of honor in the realm of the spirit, certainly things will change and it will manifest in the physical. Some things must change about your life. Some things must change in your life. No matter how long that situation has been. Because I know once upon the time, Jesus came the way of the Solomon's porch. Jesus came the way of the pool of Bethesda. There was a man there that was so invalid. He was impotent. He was marginalized. He was inactive. He was pressed there. And he's been there 40 mi mi minus 2 years. But the day Jesus came, he said, this is not my destiny program. This is not my destiny plan. This is not the shabra I had for you. Would you change your location? Would you change your place? Because where you are is not where I placed you. The problem is that many of us are where God didn't place us. And we are so comfortable and settled that when even we are being moved from the place, we say, Debbie, 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 me higher. No. There was a guy, he was born a cripple. But the Bible said, when the day of the Lord came, which is like today, the Lord said, every time he has been receiving arms, every time he has been receiving money, but a day is coming. Folks, it's no money you need. You need something more than money. He says, silver and gold which we've been giving you for some time now today we don't have it but we have something better that would enable you to possess gold permanently to possess silver permanently arise if you can change your place there must be an arising there must be a movement and the bible said the four leprous men they said if we sit here we shall die if we go into the city we shall die but let us within this tree light while there is the light of the Lord while there is the opportunity of the Lord while the moon is bright on our path let us go into the camp of the Syrians if we die we die if they save us they save us he said let us go let us go let us go let us move and when they started the movement the Lord turned the sound of their feet as the sound of chariot Adentina Ususa Ure fi Yesuana Baba Jiwo Baba Jiwo Change your location by getting up and make some moves. Today I'm gonna to move. I'm gonna to change my location. The lions may be there. The bears may be there. But the God that called me is able to give me grace to overcome.
overcome the lions and to overcome the bears I would arise I would arise and go which is against the rule of the patience and the marriage if I perish I perish Esther could not have brought deliverance to her people until she moved and changed her location what are you waiting for change your location make a move the move must begin from here and there to spirit soul body there must be a change sorry 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 the two and I'm home the son said baby I want the person or do you know when you do her would I be made whole? Arise and take your bed. Arise. Take your place in that office. Arise. Take your place in that marriage. Arise. Take your place in that family. Arise. Take your place in that institution. Arise. Take your place in the church of the Lord. Arise. Take your place among the mighties. Arise. Take your place among the strong. Arise. Take your place among the rich arise take your place among the wise arise take your place among the strong arise take your place among the worshipers arise take your place among the overcomers arise take your place among the victorious What are you waiting for? Arise and take your place among the eagles. The last verse. Now therefore, now therefore, anytime you come across therefore, it means it's a conclusive statement. He says that now therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners so we can't be in our own land our father's land a place he has designated for us and somebody to call us aliens you see it's where wherever God ever gives you the opportunity to walk is your place for possession are you listening to me because in your lifetime look there are some people they've been at a particular location all the rest of their lives they have never moved anywhere there are some people in Europe and America and whatever they have never sat in plane before are you listening to me there are some people I'm sure they are in Ghana they are some, they've not come to Accra before if you bring them to Accra hallelujah it takes the God of your destiny to give you opportunity to walk in some places And so he said to Joshua, wherever baby biara wunaya si ebe fano e hono media mao. Let this be in the bottom of your heart and mind. Intinu wunya akwembwe na ufa trotro na ukofa jubilee house and nimkra ufa hona se radie. Me feet trot room, 
Minam Jubilee House. And you me photo, Muncha me photo, Muncha me photo. Menya a Kwambwe Afa Jubilee House and Nimun Kwandia. Next time we may room. Because Abra Boys in faces. Mumubi Hakra Jubilee House, the morning baby. Only baby, oh, but more than enough at Rotro. Like a phone, hey, Nancasa, eh, a brandy be magali. I will jubilee has them. Not yet the camera is used, so now you are by TV. So, what do I want you? What is it? See, a soft will be. I can find you believe in him. My bono, coolie high. I'm a bono, go go, now go go, now I'm a Now you're trying to picture it. Any bishop me, aha. You've got to change your location by movement. Because baby, I will not ever find you. I want my day, make your mouth. So wherever you go, people would be there working there. There are people living in Jubilee House who work in Jubilee House who do not even know the opportunities of Jubilee House. Because all their mind is that whilst they they should get money. Have a good name in Jubilee House. Presidents will go and come. You will still be there. You see, when you take your place as God has designated, it is not temporal, it's permanent. So I want to encourage you that that is why I keep saying every day that you can only go up. You will never come. Where you are today, I don't expect you to start dressing naked. No. No. Amen? Amen. Life is progressive. So, it's going to be better, better, best. Take your place and and change your mind that The, the, The problem is that the problem is that but one because it says that I will lift up my eyes onto the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made what? The heavens. The earth is the loss and the fullness thereof. Because I have come to believe that there's nothing that I'm supposed to be and there's nothing that I'm supposed to possess and there's nothing that I'm supposed to have that I cannot have. When it is God's set time, I can believe and know that he's able to put me in the dreams of somebody somewhere. He said, but who is this man I'm seeing in my pictures? Who is this man I'm seeing in my dreams? I said, Lord, can you give me the opportunity to meet this man? And when the Lord said, it looks like I have met you somewhere. Where have we met? So in my dreams, God is able, the moment God brings anybody into your dreams, know that it's possible to meet that person face to face. So he said, my angel, help me meet this man or woman in person. Help me meet this man in person. Because I believe I'm somebody's angel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe that I am somebody's angel. I believe I'm the angel of Adonai International Ministries. 
I believe I'm an angel sent of God for all women of the earth. I believe that it's possible because I know that by God's mighty sovereign act, I am away from four people who knows the most important woman or man on earth that I must see who has an influence on my destiny. Arise and take your place and change your prayer and change your thinking because there's somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who knows that man who knows that woman it says you are now therefore no more strangers about the things of God and no more foreigners but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of we are, we are always interested in household of no we are the household of what God and have been built upon the foundation of what apostles and prophets receive this apostolic mandate receive this prophetic mandate because this apostolic and prophetic mandate will bring you to your places of honor and dignity and glory by revelation the Lord will orchestrate it the Lord will work it out that from this day certain things are going to change as long as you say Lord I am ready you must move to your place of dignity you must move to your place of honor this is because you are no longer strangers no whatever I do know is and Christ Jesus himself being the chief cornerstone ah many of you are beloved you are not far from your place. You are not far from your place of honor, of dignity, of promotion. You need to be a little resilient. 